our guidance here is very clear. To pay in rubles, if this is not foreseen in the contract, to pay in rubles is a breach of our sanctions. We have around about 97% of all contracts that explicitly stipulate payments in euros or dollars. So it's very clear. And the request from the Russian side to pay in rubles is a unilateral decision and not um, uh, according to the contracts. Companies with such contracts should not accede to the Russian demands. This would uh, be a breach of the sanctions, so a high risk for the companies. Thank you. Last question, Dorota. 